Hello everyone, welcome back to you here. My name is Tushi Modre Prince and today we are going to see everything we need to know about cannabis or otherwise called uh, marijuana. Alright, what we know about marijuana is it can also be called cannabis, weed, pot or dope. Uh, referring to dried flowers, leaves, stems, and seeds of cannabis plant. The cannabis plant contains more than 100 compounds or cannabinoids. Uh, these compounds include tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, which is impairing or mind altering, as well as other active compounds such as uh, CBD, also known as uh, cannabidiol. CBD is not impairing, meaning it doesn't cause a high. Um, marijuana can be used uh, in a number of ways. Uh, the most common ways uh, include um, being smoked in joints like cigarettes, in blunts, cigars, or cigar wrappers that have been partly or completely refilled with marijuana, or in bongs, uh, pipes, or water pipes. It can be vaped using electronic uh, vaporizing devices such as uh, vape pens or other vaporizers and, it, and it, it can be mixed or infused into foods or drinks called edibles like cookies, cakes or brownies or tea, cola or alcohol. Additionally, some people inhale the oil concentrates and other extracts from cannabis plant and this is known as dabbing. CBD uh, uh, is, present, is present in various forms including oils for applying to the skin, capsules uh, to take as supplement or gummy candies. So far, most studies have focused on CBD and THC, but scientists are looking into effects of other cannabinoids too because uh, research in this field and in this uh, uh, plant which shows um, high potential for uh, medical use is uh, more research is needed, okay? Because uh, we also need to understand and have more evidence before using uh, any of the cannabinoids that come from this um, cannabis plant. So among the medical uses, um, according to the national academies, of sciences, engineering, and medicine, there is uh, conclusive evidence that cannabis or cannabinoids can help manage chronic pain in adults, uh, nausea and uh, vomiting resulting from chemo chemotherapy treatment, and some symptoms of multiple sclerosis. There is moderate evidence though that it can help with sleep problems, relating to sleep apnea, fibromyalgia, and chronic pain, and multiple sclerosis. Other conditions that it may be helpful for include low appetite, Tourette's syndrome, anxiety in some individuals. So how do cannabinoids work? The human body naturally produces some cannab cannabinoids through endocannabinoid system. They act in a similar way to neurotransmitters, sending messages throughout the nervous system. These neurotransmitters affect brain areas that play a role in memory, thinking, concentration, movement, coordination, sensory, and time perception, and pressure. Uh, the receptors that respond to these cannabinoids also react to THC and other cannabinoids. In this way, cannabinoids from an outside source can change and disrupt normal brain function. THC appears to affect areas of the brain that control memory and attention, balance, posture, and coordination, and also reaction time. Due to these effects, a person should not drive a car, operate heavy machinery, or engage in risky physical activities after using cannabis. 
THC stimulates specific cannabinoid receptors that increase the release of dopamine. Uh, dopamine uh, being a, a neurotransmitter that relates to feelings of pressure in the brain. THC can also affect sensory perception. Colors may seem brighter, music more vivid, and emotions uh, more profound. Has the US Food and Drug Administration approved cannabis or cannabinoids for medical use? The truth is, the FDA has not approved the cannabis plant for any medical use. However, the FDA has approved several drugs that contain uh, individual cannabinoids. How marijuana affects a person it depends on several factors, including the amount of marijuana that he or she has have taken, the frequency of marijuana, marijuana use, uh, how many times they use it, um, use of marijuana with other substances uh, such as alcohol or other drugs uh, which could increase risk of harm mode of marijuana use um, for example consuming edibles or products with high thc concentration can have delayed or unpredictable effects and increase the risk of overdose or poisoning the previous e experience with marijuana or and other drugs too can can affect how um, it affects you um, the biology your genes your dna also have uh, acts as a factor the sex also is also an, is also another factor um, meaning uh, women may experience more dizziness after using marijuana compared to men um, let's look at marijuana as a medicine the food and drug administration fda the united states fda has approved one plant-based marijuana drug called Epidiolex, which contains a purified form of CBD. Uh, the, the prescription medicine is approved for treating seizures associated with two rare and severe forms of epilepsy, uh, which are Lennox Gastaut syndrome and Dravet syndrome, as well as seizures associated with uh, a rare genetic disorder called tuberous sclerosis complex. The FDA also has approved two medicines, uh, Dronabinol, brand name Marinol and Syndros, and Nabiron, brand name Sesamate, we, uh, that are made from synthetic or uh, lab-made chemical that mimics THC. These medicines are used to treat nausea, in patients with cancer who are chemo, uh, who are having chemotherapy treatment and to increase uh, appetite in individuals with AIDS who do not feel like eating and who are having a uh, wasting syndrome these approved products are only available with a prescription from a licensed healthcare provider there are currently no other FDA approved uses for cannabis or its derivatives the health effects and the risks of cannabis. There are health risks associated with using this uh, cannabis uh, marijuana, regardless of how it is used. And these risks include uh, marijuana use disorders. This disorder in which a person experiences withdrawal symptoms when not taking the drug may affect about 30% of people who use cannabis, according to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, also called NIDA. Marijuana use uh, directly affects uh, brain function, specifically the parts of uh, the brain responsible for memory, learning, attention, and decision making, and also coordination, emotions, uh, reaction time, Developing uh, brains such as those in babies, uh, children, and teenagers are especially susceptible uh, to the harmful effect of marijuana and THC. Mm. About the heart health, uh, marijuana can make the heart beat faster and can make blood pressure higher immediately after use. It could also lead to increased risk of stroke, uh, heart disease, and other vascular diseases.
may wanna like alcohol uh, negatively affects several skills required for safe driving it can slow reaction time and a big t to make decisions which you need uh, when driving marijuana can impair coordination and distort perception the use of multiple substances such as marijuana and alcohol at the same time can increase uh, impairment some studies have shown um, an association between marijuana use and car crashes however more research is needed on this um, what about lung health smoked marijuana regardless of how it is smoked can harm lung tissues and cause scarring and damage to small blood vessels while more research on the health consequences of breathing secondhand marijuana smoke is needed there is concern that it could it could cause harmful uh, health effects in uh, marijuana has been linked to social anxiety depression schizophrenia which is a type of mental illness where people might see or hear things that aren't really there but scientists don't yet fully understand the relationship between these mental health disorders and marijuana use there is also a problem of unintentional poisoning edibles or food and drink products infused with marijuana have some different risks that uh, than smoked uh, marijuana, including a greater risk of um, poisoning. Children can um, mistake edibles for regular food or candy, consuming uh, marijuana, and uh, it, uh, making them very sick. Since marijuana uh, use has been legalized in some states of the United States of America, intentional poisonings in children have increased uh, with some instances requiring emergency medical care. If you use marijuana pro uh, products, keep them in child-proof uh, containers and out of reach of children. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time in the next video. Thank you.